Hi guys, Zechi here. Hope you're doing well. I made some improvements to the belt and the rollers based on suggestions that you gave me in the comments in the videos. So let me show you what I did. He suggested that I reduce the overlap on the belt on the shim. So that's the first thing I did. And also to join the, the shim, the belt at an angle. I think you called it a scarf join. So I just taped the sides, looped the belt, taped it all together and put a piece of tape diagonally across, made a straight line and then just cut it through with my trusty scissors. I used two old uh, filament spools to keep it in a position so and then I just taped it all back together with kept on tape. First I used little pieces just to keep it in position. Just watch out when you use the shim, when you cut it with the scissors, it's really sharp and I cut myself a few times, just a few small nicks. Once I had it in position with the small pieces of tape, I just used a long piece and taped it down. To tape the outside of the belt, I first put the belt on the bed so it's easier to work with. Next, the non-driven roller is quite small, I think it's 17 millimeters. So I decided to make, make it bigger using a PVC pipe. So I've got a 50 millimeter PVC pipe and I made these just rough designs in CAD and printed these spaces out. The old roller now just has these spaces and the PVC pipe will go over it. I just put some hot glue on the inside to stop the the spaces from moving. The roller then just slides into the pipe. So this is a 50 millimeter inside diameter PVC pipe just from a hardware store that I cut to length. So I just push it in there, a nice tight fit. All done and it's running nice and smoothly. I put some glue on the ends as well. Now I mounted it in the uh, on the print bed. You'll notice that the the mount for the rollers are a little bit smaller, a little bit lower actually, or the center of the roller has to be lower to align the top with the uh, with the heated bed. Once everything's tightened up again, I use the metal ruler and a vernier to measure from the top of the heated bed, the printing surface, to the bottom of the frame and then I measure it on the right and the left and make sure that, that it's level. I want to make changes to that white piece of plastic to make it easier to lift the bed on the left and the right and to align it properly. I think I'll make some slots in there rather than just holes. It's almost as tight as a drum. You can see when I tap on the left there's a little bit of a movement still in the reflection of the hot end. Okay, so let's print something and see how it does. So this is a Pokemon pot, little pot holder for a plant. And you can see the, the belt is very stable. Um, unlike the, the laser printer belt, it's much, much more rigid. So there is no movement left to right. This is looking very good, I think. Thanks again for watching. And thanks for your support. Hope you have a great day. See you soon.